Adrian Marshall Marty signing in. Hey everybody, welcome back to Code of Golf Team. Today we're working on our tutor platform, the C and the S of my library. So this is the third part, fourth part, I mean it's fourth part already, wow. It's the fourth part to the C Plus 2D platform tutorial series. So if you guys missed any parts, check those out before carrying on with this tutorial. If, if you guys are all up to date, all good, carry on and head on over to your C Plus code blocks to do platform project file. So last tutorial we created the player class and inside the player class we created a constructor. We learned how to construct your works. Basically I'll brush up a quick second. This constructor automatically runs as soon as the player class is created into an object. Oh yeah we also learned about uh, how to create an object as well and did some object learning programming. So this tutorial we're gonna be working on passing some data and some variables to the player class like some player controls and stuff like that so, tons of cool stuff so let's begin the official coding countdown timer with a enter get that started and now let's get coding so head on over to where your you have the main function here i mean yeah it's a function i guess in python they call it method but in c++ they call it function so whatever works either way so head on over to the while loop that says while app is open and then somewhere inside there, be sure that the, uh, the extra curly brace, I always forget it's a curly brace, but be sure that extra, it's inside the curly brace, and we're going to begin by gathering some data. So we're going to start by saying if, an if statement, open up some semi, not semicolons, open up some parentheses, and inside the parentheses say keyboard, if I can spell, key, yeah, keyboard, colon, colon. So after keyboard type is key press it should come up there and then inside these two curl parentheses ah parentheses i'm not with it today sorry guys inside this parentheses type keyboard again one last time keyboard and then two more colons because that is called the unary scoop scope resolution not scope as in the mouthwash so what this here says those two semi i mean colons means that right is part of the keyboard class so after that well what's going to happen if you do press the right button well we have some booleans here up down left right equals false we should really add a player at the beginning of each so we know what is what so that's what i'm going to do a quick second here this way we're not going to get confused at all because I mean there could be like what if like the there's like multiplayer right we want to be specific in our variables and again my coding style is first word is all little case and then the first letter of the second word is capital so I gotta stick with my coding style otherwise I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna like type in I'm gonna type it in like this I'm gonna be uh oh it's not that way so keep your coding style consistent it's a real lifesaver and it's just going to save you a whole lot of hassle. So now what ha is going to happen if the keyboard is in fact pressed? Well, player right is going to equal true. And I just press caps lock for some weird, weird reason. Um, true. And be sure it's spelled with a little t. If you're used to Python you're with a big t, it's not going to work with a big t. It has to be a little t. Add a semicolon to the end of that because the semicolon means that the line is ended. Create a new line. Now we're going to test for another key that's going to be pressed. So this again, cop. You can just actually copy um, this chunk here. Control C is to copy. Control V is to paste. And then type right here. Type left. And the parentheses and the parentheses uh, again. And then type player left is going to equal oops equal equal area equal true end it with a semicolon so this here is gathering data but really i should not be putting this here after the app just um the app updates and displays so control c clear that crap and get it up here is really where it should belong because, I mean, there's going to be an app.update here, and we want this to update after we've tested for a keystroke. So next we're going to do is if, and again, we can copy all this here one more time, control C. You know what, we should probably just copy it again, too. And then replace that left with up, 
and then at the end of that type player up is going to equal true true there we go and a semicolon now here we're going to need the if if i copied the whole line that would have gone better if keyboard is pressed keyboard here is going to be this time it's going to be down then type what's going to happen if you press it down well player down is going to be equal to true if he is in fact pressing down so now this here is logging the keystrokes see this here is testing if something is happening so we'll just run this quick second make sure we have no errors and nope no errors as far as i can see it's just taking a while to compile here yeah no errors so now that the pl these player booleans here are going to be set to true if he is pressing something well what's going to happen if he's not pressing something so to do that type if open up a set of parentheses inside the parentheses include an exclamation mark which means not that means not copy all this here uh, actually just copy this much here copy and paste it inside so this is saying if not the keyboard's not being pressed down what's going to happen well player down that's with a capital d player down is going to equal false so let's quickly run this a second because i have a feeling i probably have an error i'm just feeling kind of unlucky here today and okay no error so, so now to prove that actually works here um let's print out some variables on the screen so let's see out is to print out add some less than signs and then type the value so since right now player down does work type player with the capital d down two less than signs and then end l is to end the line compile and run and it should print out all right so it's saying zero we press it it's one so with this because like if you're like in python and you said print out uh, a boolean it would say true false or none but since this is c plus plus and it's more bare bones it's going to be a one or a zero so i press down now and it's saying one i release and it's pressing saying zero so that means that our data is being collected correctly so now i'm just going to do the same thing for these four these three for not so i'm just going to quickly copy that a second uh oh um control z i think i just discovered a uh, hotkey so if you go control x it cuts cuts out your line of code so that's kind of cool but i don't want to cut that line i want to copy all right so now we are logging for key presses so now if you press up up is going to be true if you don't press it it's going to be false so we are actually out of time here i did not notice that for a while there that we we're out of time but again i just want to brush up a quick second here of what the unary scope resolution operator is and that's those two colons there and it means right is part of the keyboard class and keyboard is part of the sfml class so it's a lot to keep it's a lot to keep straight in your head i think i'm right here right full right um oh okay <laughs> a second there i thought guy i was, was blabbing my gums for a long time i was even right Whew. um I'm not actually, I'm not C++, yes master, I'm not a master yet at C++, because actually I started learning it like two months ago, so I'm, I'm, yeah, like, it sounds crazy, I'm, you guys are probably seeing, yeah, right, but two months ago, I started learning C++, because I had to get Python out of my system, because it was too slow, so not all the terms are going to be quite straight in my brain, so please bear with me if I do lead you off on a little go gopher hole. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any questions about the 2D platform C++ and SFML, leave that down in the comment section. Be sure to leave a like before you leave. And if you guys enjoy what you do and you got, we help you out, be sure to subscribe as well. I'll be seeing you next Wednesday or whenever news breaks. Martian Radio.